Right. Let me start this here motor. Uh, here, let me do that. Okay. okay. I, I can. I can do it a little easier. Uh, younger. Age. <laughs> Come on, glow plugs, heat up. Get him up, Mike. Fire it up. Got water. All right. All right, we're getting underway now. It's about what time is it? Seven thirty-five on Saturday, November seventh. We're getting underway to head down to our first port of call, which is going to be in Sonata 2015. Uh, our first port of call is in Sonata, and we'll clear immigration there. And on Monday, we will be on our way for a non-stop way down to Laredo. I don't know yet. All right, so it's still Saturday morning. We have not been underway long. There's already a small craft advisory, about 25 knots of wind. So we just reefed the mainsail. Uh, we're at about 70% deploy right now. And we're going to be pulling the Jenny out, and that also will be reefed. Jeff and I are on watch. We've got the Swedish watch system going on. Swedish watch system. Tongue, tongue twister, forget it. <laughs> six hours on, six hours off. Four hours on, four hours off. Four hours on, six hours off, and it repeats. Uh, it's the ending of day one, Saturday the 7th. We are just passing the east end of Catalina. Uh, into our first night at sea. It's about 11 o'clock on Monday, and we have just cleared port in Sonata. We are on our way to the non-stop portion of our passage to Laredo. Mm. It's hard to be darker. Going great. Got a little uh, Starbucks. Uh -huh. My friend and uh, myself. Uh, Looking forward to a one o'clock conference call and uh, our watch from what is it? One to two and two to one. Two, two to, to eight. Two to eight. Two to two to three. Yeah, babe. It's about three, four hours out of Ensenada. We're in a gale. It's about this bouncing somewhere around 30 to 37 knots. We've got a full main out and we've got a reef head sail about 50% out. And we're doing nine knots right now. Time when it gets dark out, there's no lights out here. I mean, it's it's pitch black, 
can't see anything. I mean, we have some cabin lights to put on, but it ruins your night vision. <clears throat> so we don't leave any lights on in the boat. So we got some rain that came in last night. The winds were howling, some, the gusts at 40 knots, sustained around 30. And we had everything stacked up nicely down here, but it quickly lost, uh, lost the handle on that kind of thing. So here's kind of the aftermath on the morning of what the cabin looks like. Still Wednesday, it's just afternoon, and the winds have kicked up now beyond 50 knots. So it's sustained about 40 with uh, 50 in gusts, and it is blowing like crazy. We're just under a kind of just a mainsail, so uh, over a half a mainsail. The Genoa's curled up. It's blowing like crazy right now. Well, uh, <laughs> this is banana, man. <laughs> Thursday morning, about uh, it's nine o'clock local, so eight a.m. our time, LA time, and conditions have improved significantly. Ten or fifteen knots of wind, following seas, very warm. It's just beautiful out. We're close to land. We are about uh, twenty-four hours from Cabo San Lucas, actually from San Jose del Cabo. So we're only a probably less than 24 hours from Cabo San Lucas. What do you think, Jeff? It's nice and relaxing and a lot better than yesterday. Um, hoping we can fish today and have some sushi in the afternoon. So the wind's blowing now about 40, 45 knots. 
Um, we're still in port at Puerto Escondido. But the long range forecast looks outstanding, so that's exciting. Now watching the big wave on TV and the boat since we can't go out because the weather is bad. Everybody having fun yet? Happy birthday, Dennis! Happy birthday, Dennis! <laughs> Happy birthday, Dennis! Happy birthday, Dennis. This is what giant. we do when Happy we can't go out me. sailing. Riding giant! Surprise birthday, he's walking through the door right now. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> this is so good! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Very thoughtful. Thank you guys very much for celebrating my 40th birthday with me here. What for you? Alright. Where are we going? Out of here. Bahia Agua Verde. 23 nautical miles. What day is it? I have no idea. Thursday the 19th. <laughs> Thursday the 19th. And we're excited to get going. Bahia Agua Verde on route to Ila San Francisco for another couple nights on the hook. It's beautiful. It's about 6.45. Indeed.
but later on today we're going to try to do a prank with Harry uh, or with somebody where we're going to get the air horn and we're going to, when they're not suspecting it, we're going to blow the air horn behind him and hopefully scare him, <laughs> scare the crap out of him. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we can pull that off a little later, sometime in the trip.
it's Wednesday, November 25th. We have departed Coleta Partida, which is an anchorage we were at for a number of nights. It's absolutely beautiful. Very calm conditions. And we are headed into La Paz now to pick up a slip, refuel, top off the water tanks, and spend a little time in town. So here's our entrance into La Paz. Actually, we need to get the biscuits in if we're We're in port for Thanksgiving and also to wait out the storm. We've got Hurricane Sandra, which should be hitting tomorrow. Uh, the remnants of it, actually. We won't get a direct hit, but it's the it's a Category 4 hurricane. It is record-setting to be the strongest hurricane this late in the season. It will be brushing across the tip of Baja into Cabo, which is where we fly out of. So we've taken port in La Paz, which is a pretty safe marina here, very nice place, close to Baja. So uh, we're expecting the weather to come through here starting tomorrow into Saturday. It'll be 40 knots, 50 knots of wind and heavy rain. And then uh, should clear out Sunday, which is also the day that we are flying home. It's Friday, November 27th. Does that sound right? Friday, November 27th. And uh, the first leg of tropical storm, or what was Hurricane Sandra, is hitting us. This is, I think it's now a tropical storm, but it's blowing through La Paz. The rain and is set in, and um, expecting some winds today, and this will carry on into tomorrow. So it's still very warm and comfortable, uh, but it's it's wet. And uh, we're just going to brave it, go into town, waiting for the shuttle bus at 10 a.m., and we're going to go into town and uh, go wander around. It's still about 77, 78 degrees. So it's not uncomfortable, just wet. So that's how that's working. Okay, we've got a fart machine right here. That it's remote control. Bill's got the remote. I'm gonna put it in my be in the back of my pants, and we're gonna see if we can get Mike and Karen with it. He's just harassing. Yeah, I mean the ducks are dry. I never felt any. Sunday, November 29th, um, about 6.45 a.m. And we are leaving to go uh, meet our driver to take us to San Jose del Cabo. The trip is winding down to our last journey. Downwind, wind. Nice beard, Dennis. Uh-huh. We're all cleaned up. Clean. Had a great trip. Yeah. And now the boat remains here in Harry's Costa Baja. Oh. For the foreseeable future, and it'll yeah. be skippered home by Harry. Yeah. Harry already hip hip hooray for Captain Bill. Yay! Yay. That's, not, that's, not, that's not a hip hip. Yeah, hip yeah. hip. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I, need a, I need to get a rump from that hurry, guy. Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> All right. So it makes noise, so if I do grab it, I'll just click it. Everybody ready? Let's do it. Whoa! Trimming sail to spot 